everybody. Welcome back to Sueño de Vida in the cloud forest of Ecuador. It is a cloudy, rainy day. So it's actually a perfect day for me to talk about uh, why we're so passionate about what we do and why we're so active and working so hard here to plant more plants where they belong here in the rainforest. Um, so we get an awful lot of rain here, 44,000 millimeters a year, 30 inches. That is a lot of rain. And I think it's sort of logical to think that one of the reasons why we have so many plants is because we get so much rain. But in reality, it's actually the act, it's the opposite. We have so much rain because there are so many plants. And the more plants we plant here, the more rain we will get and the more rain we can make to bring to other areas of the world as well. So how this sounds very like, whoa, what is this woman talking about? Yeah, it sounds crazy. Well, here's the thing. Plants are like air conditioners. And when you're in the shade of a plant or a tree, if you don't just feel cool because you're in the shade, you feel cool because trees and plants are breathing water vapor. Just like when you walk through the grocery store and those misters are on, yeah, it's just like that, but it's a much, much finer vapor. And that vapor can carry heat, right? The heat that you feel up into the atmosphere where a lot of it can escape out into space. But now here's the thing. It's is a very important cooling mechanism for the planet. This is actually how plants cool the planet is not just by shading the ground, but also by producing this water vapor that helps to release heat out into the atmosphere. But what would happen if all of the water vapor left the atmosphere. None of it would come back down as rain. And so the really cool thing about plants is that somehow they seem to know that. And they know that they need to bring that water vapor back down as rain. So here on the underside of these leaves, of all leaves, there are organs, leaves have organs, called stomata. And the stomata releases bacteria into the air, microscopic particles of bacteria that cause water vapor to coalesce and come back down as rain. It takes one million little droplets of water vapor to coalesce to form one raindrop. But if they don't have anything to coalesce on, like salt or ice or bacteria, the rain never comes down. So that explains why in forests there's so much more precipitation, there's so much more rain. We don't have salt here, it's not the ocean. We don't have ice, we're not at a high altitude. So what else could it be? It's the amazing bacteria released by plants into the air to bring the water back down as rain. All of our public outreach and our digital outreach and me making this library is paid for by our patrons. So please, uh, after you subscribe to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Please head on over to our Patreon and check that out. We have very low tiers starting at $6 where you can support our project and get lots of benefits on our Patreon page. Thank you so much for subscribing.